John Belfry and Dave Urich at Beat Digger Stadium. As the Beat Diggers and Fort Morgan Mustangs about to do battle, the Beat Diggers will receive the opening kickoff, which is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance, locally in Fort Morgan and Brush, offering home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance, Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. And, Dave, we know the Beat Diggers on special teams, as long as they make their plays, the punting and kicking for this season look very promising. You bet, with, especially with Jesus Cardenas coming in there, you know, maybe one of the first real good field goal kickers we've had in a while. Without a doubt, and uh, C.J. Kukas, of course, is the punter on this team, an all-conference punter last year. The Bay Diggers coached by Randy Dreitz in his 11th season. The assistants are Ron Albo, Lance Schwent, Dick Creighton, Matt Manier, Ken Garcia, and David Cummings. And after his first two seasons... Randy Dreitz's teams are 68 and 24, only 5 and 13 in his first two years. 68 of 92 games he's coached have been victories. Harrison Chisholm, though, very solid. 28 and 8 in his three years as the head coach of the Mustangs in his fourth year. The assistants are Greg Edson, Jim Krakemeyer, Mike Gross, Josh Langford, Jeff Peterson, Rick Call, Aaron Strobel, Clint Anderson, Joe Ginther, and Tim Musgrave. Joe Rosenbrock and Eric Garcia are back to receive. Sal Moreno, a senior, will kick it off for the Mustangs, dressed in white with the maroon numerals and the white pants. The Bee Diggers are in their home uniforms with the white numerals. And they've got that maroon jersey and pants as well. And this is a squib kick. It's going to be fielded by Hefner at the 41-yard line, running left, and he slams into Mustangs at the 43-yard line, almost like a pop-up kick, more than a squib kick. And the Bee Diggers have outstanding field position as Eric Garcia is the starting quarterback. The starting lineup brought to you by Tio Charlie's. See Tio Charlie's for a great used car or truck today. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they'll find it for you at 700 West Platte in Fort Morgan. That's Tio Charlie's. In the backfield will be Joe Rosenbrock and Scott R.C. Walt, Ben Salvo, and C.J. Kukas are the receivers. Kyle Muir, the tight end, will set up the offensive line momentarily for the beat diggers. First and ten for the 43. There's the handoff to Seawall running right up the middle. First down across the 50 to the 40. In Mustang territory. Down to the 37-yard line. It's a gain of 20 yards before the tackle was made over there in the secondary by a couple of the Mustangs, but a big run for Skyler Seawald. Once again, a gain of 20 and a beat digger first down. Just that 30 series, though, the patented 30 series, the brush was the run out of that wing tee. He just handed off that trap, and Seawald followed some nice block in there by Acosta. First and 10 for the beat diggers at the Mustang 37-yard line. The backs are split. Garcia with a hard count. Sends Kukas in motion to the left. Garcia will hand it off to Connor Weiser running left across the 35 to around the 33. He's bottled up over there by Michael Fitzsimmons, a junior linebacker, and Christian Manaz, also a junior linebacker on the beat digger offensive line. The center is Kyle Hefner. The guards are Ethan Brost and Daniel Soto. The tackles Austin Acosta and Gaston Fernandez. For Fort Morgan defensively on that line are T.J. Schneider and Zach Carpenter, along with Phil Villarreal and Garrett Strobel. And Oz, one of the linebackers, along with Brandon Hoffman and Michael Fitzsimmons. Second down and six for the Mustang 33. Muir is in motion to the right. Garcia with a handoff, running right side. First down is Rosenbrock, and he sits up across the 25 to around the 21. And that was a touchdown-saving tackle by Jake Schneider. If not, Rosenbrock was off to the races, but it's a gain of 11 and a beat digger first down. Rush ran that 20 series two times back-to-back. They ran that 27 off tackle with their fullback to the left side to play before, and then they come back on this side with just a straight-ahead dive, just a quick handoff to Rosenbrock. Once he got through the hole, he just veered towards the sideline, still going um, north and south. Chris Pineda and Armando Lopez join Jake Schneider in the Fort Morgan secondary. First and 10 for the Mustang, for the Beat Diggers, that is. The Beat Diggers at the Mustang 22-yard line on the right side of the field. Lucas out to the right, and there's the give right side to Weiser, and he stumbles his way inside the 20 to around the 18-yard line before Brandon Hoffman, the junior linebacker at 5'6", 145, made the tackle, but will call it a gain of four yards, second down and six, and the beat diggers are doing what they do best. You know, Weiser, what a great pair that is with Skyler Seawald, 
pounding at one time. He comes back to Rosenbrock, and then Weiser comes in. He doesn't lose his step. Remember, he carried brush a good part of the season last year. Over 1,000 yards. You know, my favorite run last year, Dave, remember that 81-yarder against Valley? Yeah. This was a brush team 0-4 going into that game, and they rattled off eight straight victories. Kukas, the receiver, to the left. Vince Albo to the right. Second down and six for the beat diggers at the Mustang 18. Garcia's going to hand it off left side to Rosenbrock, and he tries to squeeze his way for a yard, and that's it. The Mustangs were right there. Just a gain of one for Joe Rosenbrock, running off left tackle. The initial hit from Zach Carpenter, the 5'9", 185-pounder, senior defensive end, and it's third down and five. You know, still trying to put that 30 series together, and that time that was the play that, you know, after they take the trap, they run off tackle to the left side. Morgan just read that really well. Well, you know, this is four-down territory for Brush. Third down and five for the Mustang 17. Weiser split in the backfield with Rosenbrock. Haven't seen a bootleg yet from Garcia. Now we do running left. He's got speed to the outside of the 15-yard line. Left sideline, 10 to the 5 to the end zone. Does he score? Yes, touchdown, Eric Garcia. Garcia scores from 17 yards away at the beat diggers. Two minutes and 45 seconds into the season, lead six to nothing. That's that 30 series for you. They got him. They got Paul Morgan looking at that trap. They got him looking at that off tackle, and pretty soon those linebackers are starting to figure out, trying to figure out where the football is. They're expecting that lot, that uh, big hit from the fullback up the middle, and then Garcia keeps it around the end. Jesus Cardenas to attempt the extra point off the hold of Eric Garcia. Dave, you liking the way the season started already? I'm loving it. <laughs> Awaiting the snap is Garcia, the right-footed sophomore. As Garcia puts it down, the kick by Cadenas is up, and that one is short, but it is good. 9.15 to go in the opening quarter. It's brush 7, Fort Morgan nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. <laughs> 